guys, I'm Leah and I'm your local plant expert here at Jacobs Trading. If you haven't heard of Jacobs Trading, check the description below. We got some information about our online store on our website. It's pretty cool, go check it out. In this video today, we're gonna be making these little jellyfish air plants together. These guys are made of air plants and little shells. So I'm gonna be showing you how to do that today. So these are the tools that you're gonna be needing to make your jellyfish project today. You're gonna first need a shell that you're gonna work with. So this one here is a sea urchin shell. You're also gonna need an air plant. You wanna make sure that this air plant is gonna fit into that shell that you're gonna use, because otherwise if it's too big, it's not gonna work. To hang your jellyfish, you're gonna want some kind of thread or cord. I like to use either a fishing line or a clear nylon cord, just so that it gives it illusion of hanging in midair, so you can't really see it, but you can use whatever kind of thread you'd like. You're also going to need some crimp beads, as well as a flat pair of pliers here that's gonna help you later on. And you're also gonna need some scissors and a small little push pin if you don't have a hole in your shell to begin with. So the first step you're gonna do is that if you're working with a shell that doesn't have a hole, you're gonna to wanna to create a hole at the top of the shell. So you're gonna do this by either using a push pin or a small needle. So all you're gonna do is just lightly take that pin and just push it into the top of the shell. Uh, you're just gonna make a small hole, just enough so that that thread fits through. So like you can see that I did with this one here, I just made a small hole at the top and then the thread just goes right through and it's ready to go. If your sea urchin shell has two holes like this one does here, then you don't need to worry about poking another hole, you're just gonna work with what you have here. And if that's the case, you're just gonna then move straight on to working with your thread. When working with your thread, you're going to wanna think about how long you're gonna want your jellyfish to hang. So for a longer hanging jellyfish, you're gonna need more thread, and for just a short little hanging jellyfish, you're gonna need less thread. But when making your thread and measuring it, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you keep in mind that on both sides of the thread, you're gonna to wanna to leave some space to make a little loop to attach your jellyfish and your air plant. So you're gonna make sure you give yourself a little bit extra thread there. But all you're gonna do is just pick a desired length and then you're just gonna cut that off right there. Using your cut string, you're going to take one end of it and you're gonna take a crimp bead here and you're just gonna thread one end through that crimp bead. So just one side of it right through, so just like that. I like to hold onto the crimp bead just so that it doesn't run away on you. And then you're gonna take that same end of the thread and you're gonna start wrapping that around your air plant. You're gonna wanna make sure that you get it underneath a few leaves just so that it holds it nice and snug in place. So just going around it. Doesn't have to be perfect because you're probably not gonna see it anyway. So you just gotta get it around a few leaves so that when it hangs, it is nice and snug and not gonna go anywhere. And you can even check it out if you want. So you can check right there just to see that it's holding nice and it's not gonna fall down. So once you're happy with that, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take that end of the string and you're gonna weave it through that crimp bead one more time, which can be a little bit tricky just because of how small it is, but you just gotta stick both ends through like that so that it holds it nice and tight. You're then gonna wanna tighten that crimp bead. So you're gonna take your needle nose pliers and just pinch it, but you wanna make sure that it's not super tight on the air plant, because you still want it to have some wiggle room so that it can breathe. So you're just gonna find a nice spot and then grab those crimp crimpers and all you're gonna do is just squish down nice and hard right there so that it makes the crimp bead go flat because then it's not gonna go anywhere and you can hang it freely without it falling. Once that's done, you can take the any excess cord that you have and just cut off that one end because you don't need it to be dangly there. So just remove that. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the other end of that thread and your sea urchin shell and you're just gonna thread it through that top hole just so that it is then attached to that cord. So this is gonna make your jellyfish shape so you're gonna pull it all the way down to the air plant, making sure nothing's all tangled. And you're just gonna lightly place your air plant inside of that jellyfish. At this step, if you want, you can add any beads or decorations onto the string before we close it off, just to give it a little bit more shiny look. If you want it to like glow in the sunlight, then you can add some glass beads or something. But for this example, we're just gonna do the straight string. So to close off your jellyfish, all you're gonna do is take another crimp bead like we did before, and you're just gonna string it onto one end here. You're gonna bring it down a little bit, and all you're gonna do is just take that same end and bring it back down. And then string it back through that crimp bead, 
And you're gonna wanna just make sure you leave a little bit of a loop there so you can see the crimp beads down there and you have a nice loop. Then you're gonna take your needle nose pliers again and you're just gonna give it a good crimp, holding down nice and tight so that it then doesn't go anywhere. You can also cut off any excess that you have again, just so give it a nice clean look. And that you can then use to hang wherever you like. So this is what your final product should look like. This can be done with a bunch of different varieties of shells and different types of air plants to give them each their own unique look. The best way to take care of these little guys is to place them in a bright location. And when watering, you're gonna wanna water them about once a week with dechlorinated water. Obviously that's gonna vary depending on how humid your house is. So the more humid it is, the less you have to water. The less humid it is, the more you're gonna have to water. And for these guys, all you're gonna do is just dunk them into a little cup of dechlorinated water, let them sit for a few minutes, and just pull them out, let them drip, get all that excess water off, and then you're just gonna hang them back into their spot. So that's it for me, guys. I hope you had a lot of fun making these little aquatic decorations with me today. If you haven't already, make sure you like this video and subscribe as well. We're putting out new videos every week. Stay in bloom and get crafty!